For this demonstration, we will depict a typical below-grade polyvinyl liner install involving four panels that will attach to a center pad. The polyvinyl blanket system comes with a set of tools shown below. Here is a list of other tools that you will also need in order to complete the install but aren't included. For the full list and more details about different variables that can come into play during the install process, please consult the manufacturer's recommended installation process for polyvinyl blanket and barrier boom containment systems. When arriving on site, measurements of the excavated area need to be taken to ensure the install can be done properly. The excavated area needs to have at least 18 inches to 24 inches of freeboard outside the polyvinyl containment unit's predefined dimensions on all four sides to allow for the proper backfill of stone. The depth of the excavated area needs to be an additional depth of 6 inches of the containment unit. The additional depth will be filled with clean washed pea gravel to function as a leach field assisting in the displacement of water. When adding the pea gravel floor, it must be sloped from the center to the outside walls to shed water. Unfold the panels and lay them in place over the gravel. Each panel is made oversized, so excess polyvinyl will need to be trimmed where the panels meet, but be sure to leave a 2 to 3 inch overlap where each seam is supposed to meet. Save any excess for future use. The panel walls should be laid flat across the floor. A strong adhesive, such as HH66 or heat gun, can be used to seal the seams together, but the adhesive is most commonly used. Whichever method is used to seal the seams, the overlapping polyvinyl must be dry, clean, and free from dust and dirt. Two people are required to properly seal the seams, and aerosol cleaner is provided for proper seam preparation. Pre-mark the edges of the panels prior to sealing to maintain the proper alignment. Start by sealing the seams from the pad outwards and all the way up the polyvinyl walls. Be sure to apply a thin layer of adhesive to both sides of the polyvinyl that is to be joined and allow it to dry until it's tacky to the touch. Use the seam roller and seaming plank to compress the seams together. There are two methods for sealing the polyvinyl to the concrete pads, bentonite clay sealing and aluminum flat bar sealing. The bentonite clay sealing method is used at the base of concrete transformer pads, piers, and around conduit and grounding cables. The aluminum flat bar sealing method, which is most commonly used and what we will be covering in this video, is used when the liner has to be attached to the pad or pier above the floor of the containment liner. To properly install the polyvinyl using the aluminum flat bar method, determine how far up the pad the polyvinyl is going to go and mark the pad with a chalk line. Run the double-sided asphaltic tape along the chalk line mark to attach the polyvinyl. Remove the protective paper from the asphaltic tape and attach the polyvinyl to the pad, then secure it in place with the aluminum flat bar. Attach the flat bar with screws on all pre-drilled holes, except the ones closest to the pad. This is to allow the corners to be formed and will be fastened into place later. When doing corners, whatever panels placed on top should be cut 6 inches longer than what would be flush with the pad. A relief cut will be made at the base of the pad to allow the 6 inch overlap to wrap around the corner. The bottom panels should be cut completely flush with pad. Then they need to be sealed together and the final end screws can be attached to the aluminum flat bar and the pad. Use any excess polyvinyl, the adhesive, and the seam roller to patch any holes and create a leak proof seal. When standing exterior walls upright, simply place one stake 2 inches to the left of the corner and another 2 inches to the right. Be sure to begin raising the walls at the corners first. Apply remaining wooden stakes every 4 feet to support the vertical position of the barrier boom walls. Staple or screw 1 half inch from the top of the barrier to prevent damage to the boom. Install the wooden stakes around the entire containment. Next, the containment needs to be backfilled with clean stone. The stone needs to be cleaned, washed, and free of dirt and fines. But before that can happen, the stakes need to be properly protected by PVC pipe. Do this by cutting the PVC pipe in half, placing the pipe over top of the stakes as a covering. Begin backfilling in the containment, but be sure the pipes don't fall off the stakes. 
In conjunction with backfilling, start pouring a small amount of stone on the inside of the wall so it can maintain its dimensions. As a word of caution, just putting stone on the outside of the containment will force the wall inward and reduce your volume. Maintain an equal level of stone on both sides in order to prevent the stone from affecting position and alignment of the wall, thus stabilizing the wall from the inside out. Continue filling in the containment area until the site is filled to grade. 